Hey everybody, welcome back to your Python tutorial series. You've gotten pretty far, hopefully everything is going fantastic. So in this video I wanted to talk about creating functions where you don't necessarily know how many parameters you're going to be given. So in the last video, for some reason, I was talking about my carrot chop, <laughs> or my karate chop. We're going just to recreate that. So yeah, you have to spell a carrot or it won't work. I'm kidding, it'll work, but I mean, yeah, you get the point. So we're just going to put who we want to karate chop here. So we'll just give that variable the name who. And we put a colon, and then what we do, this is called a block of code that is going to be executed. All right, so or the, the body of the function, basically. So what we're going to do is we're just going to print who. Actually, let's, let's make this better. Let's, uh... Yeah, well, that's, that's pretty much what we'll do. Yeah, uh, that'll work for this example. And then we're just going to... Uh, call that and we'll give it the value uh, if I can get it working we'll give it Jameson and then let's run it it prints out who we want to karate chop now what if we wanted to say something as well we could say within this function uh, we could say print Now you see here's a problem. We're sing using single quotes on the outside, and this requires a single quote. So the best way to fix this is to just use double quotes on the outside, or escape it, which we talked about that a long time ago. So we can print, I'm a pony. Then we use modulus s or percent sign s, percent sign, and then who. This is the uh, syntax to insert the value of a variable within a string. All right, now let's try it. Let's just get rid of this one. Save it, run it, and it says, I'm a pony, Jameson. Now, what if we want to say, we wanted to say, I'm a pony, Jameson, I'm a pony, whoever, I'm a pony, Billy, I'm a pony, Jacob, I'm a pony, uh, Hong Kong. All right, we're going to do it so we can do however many we want. And the way we do this is we put an asterisk, capital eight, right beside the who. All right, so that means we can use lists, or we can give them a list of items, and it'll return it as a tuple, which is basically a list that can't be changed, or a tuple, however you want to pronounce it. I don't care. Let's see if this affected anything. When we run it, you can see it still works. So what we can do now is uh, we can, let's try giving it multiple values. Now let's run it. And you can see, oh, it gives us an error. How can we fix this? Well, you see, we're using who inappropriately. This is not going to allow us to do this. So what we need to do is use a for loop because that will allow us to get every single value of who. So for, we can just make up a random variable for x in who, print I'm a pony. Now let's try it. Run. Oops. Uh, this should be indented. Sorry about that. Save that. Run it. Alright, now let's look at it. What we need to do is we need to change... Oh, man. Alright, so let's try printing this with multiple values. Control S, F5 to run. You can see it gives us an error. That's because not all of the arguments converted during string formatting. Basically, that means this right here is not able to print this correctly because this is not a single variable. So the way we could fix this is we can use a for loop. So to do this, we say, by the way, this doesn't need to be indented twice. It's just a single indent there. But since we're going to use a for loop, we can put for and then we can indent the print within the for. So for x in who, which x is just a random variable, you can name it whatever you want, it's just going to refer to each iteration of each person in who. So Jameson, Johnson, and Abe Lincoln. So now for everyone in who, we want to, rep we want to uh, do this. So now it's going to replace 
this right here with X. So the first time will be Jameson, then Johnson, then Abe Lincoln. Let's save it and then run it. I'm a pony, Jameson. I'm a pony, Johnson. I'm a pony, Abe Lincoln. You see how that works? So in summary, basically we're defining a function. Ignore this line for a while. Just put that down there. Just keep it simple. We're defining a function. Now this little asterisk is telling us that it's going to be multiple items. And basically uh, Python sees this as a tuple. So if you want to see that in action, we could say print who. If I can type it out right. Save. Run. And you can see it prints it out like this. But anyways, let me get rid of that. Now, all of the values we give it, Jameson, Johnson, A, Blinken in our case, it gets assigned to the variable who. So who is a tuple with three values. Now for x, that means every single value within who, we want to print I'm upon you and then replace it with that value. So it's going to iterate three times because there's three items within who. That's how the tuple is set up then it prints that and that's what the function does it it doesn't do that yet until we actually call it so for example if I get rid of this completely obviously it's not going to do anything because we are not using that code let's try again let's uh we can actually change the values so we could say okay keep dinosaur And let's go the llama king. All right, now let's try it. Run it, and you can see I'm a ponya kekib. I'm a ponya dinosaur. I'm a ponya llama king. So functions are just super awesome because they allow you to repeat code like this. We if we want to do this for like we did it up here with these three people, and then we did it down here for these three people. If we never used a function, we would have had to write this for both sets of those people. And it's just so much easier. And this is a very simple function. Functions can get pretty intense. So this is just a way of how you can have multiple values within your function. So hopefully, I'm sorry, basically multiple values within the parameters of your function. So what we give in the parentheses. So basically, yeah, that's about it. Uh, be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any questions or comments or concerns or uh, anything like that, leave me a comment. And uh, Unless you're Claire, don't do that.